search is underway in the South Bay for a mother of three kids in Chula Vista. Maya May Millet's family has not seen or heard from her since Thursday. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam is live in Chula Vista with the effort to find her and what her family is now saying this afternoon. Jeff. Hi, Maria. Yeah, well, that search will start right here, a park just down the street from where the family lives. The search will start tomorrow morning. Some of Maya's friends tell us that she liked to hike, so it's possible she could have gone off into the canyon behind the family's home. Meanwhile, some of her family members fear it could be something worse. It's been five days since May or Maya Malette went missing. Flyers posted around the community hoping somebody knows something. I can't even... Ex explain what I'm feeling right now. I'm, I'm sad, I'm scared, I'm very worried for her. Maya's brother and sister say the 39 year old mother of three was last seen at her home late last week. They say her car is still in the driveway. Phone has been off for days and yet no word from Maya. In fact, she missed her daughter's birthday party on Saturday. This is not like her. This is unusual. She has, as I've been saying, she has three beautiful kids. And she wouldn't, she wouldn't leave them, you know, for a day. They've been married 22 years, but um, there, there's been some some marital issues. It's not, I, I don't think there's a perfect marriage. Fox 5 tried knocking at Maya's house Tuesday, but her husband didn't answer. Chula Vista police have opened a missing persons case and continue to investigate. Detectives working the case say they don't believe a crime has occurred. The search party hopes she'll turn up safely. We're just hoping, still hoping. Yep, and so we got two different searches. We got one going on tomorrow at 10 a.m. We got another one going on Friday as well. We'll post some of the information on our website, fox5sandiego.com, in case you live in the area and you want to help out. Uh, for now, from Chula Vista, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.